today our plan is to hike up Gaverla, which is the tallest mountain in Ukraine. Alright, we just made it to the base of the trail and we got a five other people with us. And it's supposed to be about a three hour hike to the top. We'll see how we do with the little kids. Nicholas? Hey. Are you ready to hike? Mm-hmm. Yeah, are you gonna hike the whole way this time? No going on shoulders? Shoulders. Shoulders? What in the world? Okay. Alright here. And we're gonna kinda go up this way. 2061 meters, something like that. That's how high this mountain is. Getting close to halfway up. Nicholas is getting tired again, but he's still going. Right now we're kind of walking through this. Here, let's go this way, Nicholas. Juniper tunnel. <laughs> Juniper tunnel. We'll go around here. A little bit easier. But yeah, the views are getting pretty good already. We're getting close, I don't know, we're about 1,800 meters up. And you can see some of the mountains over there. Yeah. Just kind of coming out of the forest right now. We'll get around this turn here and you can see the top of Gavirla. Last time we were here, it was foggy and we got to this point you couldn't see anything at all it just felt like you were endlessly going up this hill today is a beautiful day all right that's the top of Gavirla that's where we're going still got a ways to go so far not so bad but we've been taking it slow, lots of stops. And we still have that to go up, which looks pretty steep from here. But once we get up that, I'm guessing another hour at least to get up there. There's a lot of people going up there right now too. Anyway, once we get up that, should be pretty, that should be the worst of it right there. This is it guys, this is the top of the tallest mountain in Ukraine. Over there, if you, see, if you can see far enough, is the uh, Ivan Frankovska. And if you look over there, that, oh, that mountain in the center right there, that's Bab Ivan, that's the second tallest I guess. to the top of Gavirla. It was a bit of a slow climb with lots of breaks. Unfortunately, Naomi got a pretty bad headache and uh, ended up throwing up on the way on the on the way down. So we're on our way down now and we're going a bit of a different way. You can see a little bit here behind me. A bit a little bit different. We're going to see a waterfall down here, so that would be pretty cool. Another couple hours, we'll be back down to the car and 
That right there is the top of Gajerla. down we made it to taking a different route down made it to this waterfall here which is pretty cool crossed it right down there a little bit scary was it scary going across the waterfall no not at all there's our guide there he's i don't know what he's gonna oh he's gonna show us where to get our picture taken i guess So we just made it down the steepest part and we were up there at that waterfall. You can see it across the waterfall. It was really cool. And now mainly we're going to be on level ground here. Um, it was a pretty good hike. Definitely uh, difficult in some areas, real slow going with the kids. But, uh, but so far we've made it. I think the kids will be tired tonight. and. Um, but <clears throat> grateful that we got to go and see Gaverla and be on the hot tallest mountain in Ukraine. So we're back down in the forest, uh, not much longer before we hit the car. And one of the cool things about this hike is that you do get to see different number of different trains. You get to see forest, um, you get to see meadow, uh, you get to see some pretty cool rocky cliffs, and, and then when you get up on the top of the mountain you get, you get to see everything. So definitely a good hike and I recommend it.